welcome to Seed Spark of Corner. Today I'd like to give my viewers an apology that we didn't do many videos. Let me tell you what had happened. We was with AT&T for 22 years. And in Regency, I'm not going to mention the name, another company, not in Regency, Walmart, talked to me into saying, showing how I would save money going to this other company. So they had scheduled the date for me for installation. And sorry about the noise, I got the front door open and I'm mowing the grass next door. Okay. And that day came in which I had the email and it was canceled. They had canceled it. I was only, understand, I was only getting internet installed. Then I called them back and said, why did you cancel the installation? So there's nothing here showing us the installation. I said, you give me an email, I'll show it to you. Or you tell me where the office is, I'm bringing it down to you. She said, oh no, you don't have to do that. So they rescheduled the date. Meanwhile, that day it was supposed to be installed, I returned my modem to AT&T. So they scheduled another day, 48 hours later, because that was the earliest they said they had. That day came, and I got an email, it had canceled. Meanwhile, I had saved all the previous appointments. They used a two-hour window. They were gonna call between one and three in that afternoon, two days later. They canceled again. This is two cancels. Then, when that day came, they canceled it again. So that's three cancels. So I got so mad with them this time. I said, I made the biggest mistake in my life. The leaving AT&T going for you. And I'm not gonna mention the company. And then she said, oh, I'll schedule it this time and we'll keep it. I said, I know why you're scheduled. You're canceled because you got the opportunity for somebody to get maybe phone, TV, and internet all in one. And I got witnesses, everybody in the house. I stayed here hours and hours the whole day, you know, with two hour window, just in case it came early or late. And then the next day I would call them. So that's three cancellations. So then on the fourth cancellation they came, they put it where they could. They couldn't put it where I wanted them to put it because they said that was the AT&T line and they couldn't use our line. And they said they wanted to put it to my garage, but my brother is out of state and so I'm storing the stuff in the garage so you can't get in there. So they put it in my bedroom and only worked in one room. I got witness there, everybody who lived here, Chris, Destiny, Doris, David, everybody who I look after. Okay. So then, um, and then I called them and they said they boosted it and so they offered to give me a ticket and it would go through more of the house if they gave me a faster speed. And then it got from that room to this room here. It did get to the back end of my house for Doris and Chris to have it, which I was generally upset about. So then they said they would schedule the next day somebody would come between three and five and move the modem to more in the difference of the room and they would run the line. Okay? So, um, then they didn't show up. I called that day to confirm they were coming. The appointment was from three to five and they said, no, that was canceled. They said, don't you have good internet? I said, I don't have good internet. It was scheduled. They, they, and so I, by then I was very upset. And I said, you get somebody out here. I'm here. You keep your appointment. That man scheduled the appointment. You keep it. She said, no, it was canceled by something or other. I'm not sure what she said. I said, no, I did not cancel it. You keep canceling this appointment. This is five times. I said, well, when I scheduled the appointment, I have a scheduled appointment for three days from now that they can come and move your modem at no cost because of the circumstances that went with it. I said, you mean you would tell, charge me for a motor when you could decide to put it in there after you were to cancel four appointments? I was very upset. I said, meanwhile, I have no internet. I have a show to do. I can't do anything. Uh, what I was doing was I was doing on my phone. I had one gigabyte free on my phone, but that when my phone would talk to my laptop, so I was doing it that way. So at least she was getting something. And I said, no. She said, what can we do to, to make your business better? I said, <coughs> excuse me. Juice. I said, you keep your scheduled appointment. That man promised me appointment today between
between three and five. You keep you get out. We don't have anybody to get out here. They're all busy doing other things. I said, oh, I know what it is. You just keep cans of mine because all I've got is internet and you can do other people and get more money off of them. But the bottom line is you're only concerned. I said, I made the biggest mistake I ever made leaving at t After 22 years, they kept every promise. Every time I was an appointment problem, they were there. They never, ever broke an appointment with me. Never. Not in a million years. I, uh, so I said, okay. I, I gave return my at t as promised. When we made the agreement, I spoke to that person at Walmart. And they scheduled the appointment. I kept it. You've already canceled it four times. I'm not going to give you a fifth time chance to do it. I said, I'm going to cancel my contract. She said, well, I'll have to bill you for the remainder of the contract that you promised one year. I said, I don't care if you bill me. I ain't going to pay. Because I, you have this big to do about what great service you do and how great your service is. And it's all just a lie. I should have never let you talk me into it. Here I was thinking instead of paying $60 with at and I'd pay $29.99 with you. Boy, money, saving the money ain't worth it considering I had no service. I had no service. And I didn't have, I couldn't keep up with my show, so. Um, I said, she said, okay, well we have a 30 day guarantee. I'm removing your box. I said, you tell me where I gotta take this box. Because I, I am the most dissatisfied person with you. I explain to you that David can't play his game. Chris can't do his schoolwork. And he's studying for his GED and all that and the inconvenience we've had. I said, I'm going back to AT&T and I'm gonna tell him what a big mistake I did going to your company and why. I said, furthermore, if anybody asks me for advice, I will definitely not recommend your company because you are the worst. And I said, furthermore, I said, after 22 years, AT&T never let me down, and I hope AT&T crushes you. And I'm not mentioning the name because I know that probably have loyal viewers, just like I was loyal to AT&T, because, well, they treated me right, and this other company didn't give me so much of a buy-in lead. It was a nightmare every day ever since. So, um... I called them and then AT&T had earliest day nine days later. And I said, that's okay, I'll wait. What's the difference? I don't have internet anyway. So, um, and then I started thinking, oh God, what if AT&T got as bad as this other company? What if they keep canceling appointments? Because all I've got is um, internet. Well, when I called the band AT&T, and when I heard their ringtone, I said, oh, that's music to my ears, music to my ears. Because I knew in my heart they wouldn't let me down. But I was just so upset because of what I went through for this other company. So, um, then they scheduled the appointment. And they said I had a $75 card on my account. I said, well, I didn't know it. Because I just pay them, like, so much at a time. And I didn't even know. And... So they said, they pulled, they gave me my name. They said, do you know your old account number? I said, no, I don't. They said, well, what's your old phone number? I gave my old phone number. They pulled it up with that. They reactivated my account. They said, yeah, $75 credit. Um, they said, that'll pay for you. And they said, do you want somebody to come out or do you want to just hook back up yourself? I said, I'd rather have somebody come out make me feel better to make sure everything's okay. And so they came out. They said, well, your credit will handle that, so you'll only owe a regular month bill. They said, so they can give me $40 a month for high-speed internet. So I got high-speed internet, and it's just $40 a month plus um, tax. They couldn't figure out the tax, but it's okay. I figured 50 that would be more than enough. So anyway, I pay extra on my bill. So. And they, and I said, so I called them around. They said, ma'am, you're still scheduled. We're not like such and such a company. Do not be worried. Don't be nervous. We will be there for you. He will be there. You are scheduled. No matter what happens, he will be there. So he was here 10 minutes early. He called, said he would be there in 10 minutes. He was. He was sitting there. They installed the house. They said, asked me to what I want. They gave me my password. They gave me my modem link. They said, what do you, do you want an AT&T box email? I said, no, I'm just going to stick with my bell sales email. And so, 
He said, that's fine. So I still had that. So you still got that. So everything's back to normal, and we're back in business. And I got the internet as normal, so I like to watch Hulu so I can reactivate that. So I've got my life back to normal. And I'll never, ever leave AT&T again, no matter what. No matter what companies try to talk me into it, because it won't work. It was a nightmare I do not want to go to again. I was so upset they were giving me hard, such a hard time trying to disconnect that I literally started crying over the phone for what they put me through. And Ben got very upset. Ben did. He came over. He ran into the living room. Ben better me was afraid I was going to hurt him or something. I don't know. Apparently, I didn't get Ben when he was first born. I got him after he was five, so maybe the other people who had him. And they started crying. They would take it out on Ben or something. But I didn't mean to scare him. But the people were so upset. And I would never, ever, ever, not a million, trillion, four trillion, zillion, infinity years, ever, all joking aside, seriously, would never hurt my baby. That's my friends most beloved. He's dearly loved. And so there it is. This is in the way of an explanation for what had gone on to all our loyal YouTube watchers. So everything is back to normal, sweeties. We love you. You guys make everything to us. And I well, <laughs> it wasn't worth what I went through just to save 30 bucks. So I went back to at t where I belong. Love you guys, appreciate all of our viewers, all of our subscribers on our Patreon. Hugs and kisses from my family too. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody.